rolling. How does Joseph do it? Now let's see, uh, make sure that don't fall. How did he do it? How did Joseph do it? dippity in here. Alright, and then I'll give us the old 3 2 one. Mm -hmm. Ready to go. Yeah. There we go. Face you instead of face away from you. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. There we go. That's that's it. That's TV. Yeah. Well, I don't think we're gonna start with the song oh. for this. Oh, one. Oh, we're not gonna start with the song with this one. Okay. No, because I think uh, we're gonna cut to video. So this is our oh. first video podcast. What's up? Hi. This is what we look like. This is we're people. <laughs> As if people that don't already know us are. Listening. I feel like most of our viewers is people who think, already know I what we look like. This, yeah. <laughs> this is pretty much what they expected. But yeah, very special episode to do mm -hmm. this. Um, a video, obviously, because this is the debut of our little home recording track TV. Yeah. Which, uh, wow, I guess we're both pretty much involved in this. So, yeah, the we, questions. You got me roped into it. Well, you got questions. I do have Cause questions. I, I don't really, I, I yeah, because you about did things, it. But yeah. I need to be like triggered by questions. Right, because so. I, yeah, you could, you actually like made it. And I was like, you're like, oh, can you do a verse on this? So I'm like, this is, it's not, it started with you. So, where did it start? I guess it's a good question. So, um, you know, the last couple of years, <laughs> well, the last couple of years, well, <laughs> um, I always kind of like to unplug more than I think I would, Sure. but I, I do like unplugging. So I did a nice little unplug this time for kind of setting myself every time I want to unplug a little further, mostly unplugging, meaning getting off like Instagram yeah. and all that. The social media um, platforms. Yeah. Just not really being in other people's business mm -hmm. because I felt, why am I so special? Why would I like, I understand even how celebrities function. A lot of people that are celebrities like Tom Holland it's because he's a kick-ass actor. He's great. And he's Spider-Man. Yeah. I don't really care what kind of sandwich he has today. But, or a croissant. <laughs> but, it, but it is a cool world that it's like, I guess, if you're that creepy, you could find out what yeah. sandwich Tom Holland eats today. So Easily. My whole deal is, like, I don't really know why I would be special enough for people to look at what I do anyway, which I, I did have a lot of fun posting pictures of salads I made or yeah, yeah. stuff I went to or, you know, little, like if I went for a walk and I was just like, this is something I was thinking about on mm -hmm. my walk or something like that. I thought that was cool. And like, you know, instead of it just being like a big group chat, it was like a bunch of people like coming back to me like, oh yeah, I was thinking of this the other day or right. something like that. Or if I'm just Almost like, like an open forum for a moment, which is, which is great. And it's beautiful. And it's cool that people do that. I still do like doing stuff like that. But a couple months ago, just going through some life changes, I was sure. like, I really need to get off this. It's not healthy. Yeah, it's not it's healthy not, for yeah. me to be on it right now. And that's what TV is primarily about yeah. is like kind of like I need to unplug myself. I don't think I'm that interesting. I wouldn't even mm -hmm. watch this. Type right. Deal. Yeah. Like, yeah, you wouldn't watch yourself on TV. You wouldn't watch the things that you're doing right now. You don't feel intre like exceptional. Yeah. Yeah. Which is the baseline what it is and i remember back at the old place i was and we talk a lot on this podcast about usually it's i'm playing and singing right. for an idea that's a voice memo to kind of kick off mm -hmm. but this one was a guitar riff that intro riff just me playing it and i was watching something ironically enough ah, i'm blank it was definitely a series that i was getting into and I'm drawing a huge blank on what it was, but I was playing this riff and I had to track it because I was just like, oh, this is kind of, I feel like you could play this for a while. Right. And that became the kind of whole foundation of the song. As they do sometimes. And then the next night I dug that riff up. I was like, wait, I should do something on this before I completely lose it and completely forget about it. Right. While well, you have some momentum. I think I called you. I think I called you. You did call like, me. I'm working on the next yep. blank because the song's not out yet, but <laughs> the <laughs> next thing. And I was like, I was so excited because I forget what we were talking about, but it was like, oh, this is so sick. Like, I want to go work on this. And then I started demoing it in Logic in the other room. Yeah. And then 
through the whole move and everything, the song's kind of just been there. And then with us doing the podcast, I was like, this might be a cool thing to just kind of evolve on a little more and see what I could do mixing because I've never mixed before. Right. This is like your first foray into it. Yeah. Which, so it's like, this is a, you know, a more laid back song Mm -hmm. and, you know, I kind of just want it to be that way. I don't know. I feel like it's a, it's a good test run. Yeah. Having something self-produced, self-mixed, all the, you know, the whole nine. But that was cool. Uh, how I was just so lazy to not write a second verse. I was like, Nick, we're doing yeah. the podcast. You might as well like be on it. And you slayed. I, I oh, thank like, you. Knew, I appreciate that. I knew because I have such like stock in your lyrics oh, that stop. like you coming over, it would just be, and we, we literally banged it out in like one night. Yeah. One night. One um, of your wordier verses too, mm. but I love it. Cause you and I are both at this point where like, might as well try but, whatever we can. Exactly. To see what sticks. Cause we don't have anything we're tied down to. I'm right. not the guy that does this or the guy that does that. We can so do anything like, we want. Literally. <laughs> yeah. And my, um, my difficulty is that I'm very bad with writing on the fly improvisation. Like I usually like kind of linger on my stuff for quite a while. So I remember like listening to that like dozens of times and then finally getting down something I was happy with. And it happened to be wordy. Like I think I um had to adapt. Like for that moment I was like this is what this song needs. It was something kind of wordy and like sort of um not stream of consciousness but like kind of flowy, you know, like almost rappy but not everything you do always stews. Which yeah. is the word I was thinking as you were saying it kind of like sits and you like meditate on things before you speak, which you mm-hmm. do normally. Oh, that's like me. Normally, me, yeah. I'm the opposite. So all my <laughs> impulses, yeah. all my it's all my lyrics are impulse, like word vomit type deal. But I f- I find the most self reflecting coming through that. Right. Whereas like yours are kind of like you like yeah the, the self reflecting is inside and then it comes out. Right. Whereas like yours like you workshop it. But a lot of things with your lyrics. Um, super super catchy too thank you and how it, it's so, it is so wordy but it's also very like real complete thoughts mm-hmm. um back to bed i just need some sleep no yeah. it's the one it's the one before that is a movie um, you would watch with, um wait is this a movie you would watch with me oh wow no i, I think even the the beginning of it it's as good as it's gonna get um Close the sh- it's as good Close as the it's gonna get. Close the shades and stay in bed. Yeah. Like, yep. And it's just like, yeah, I, like totally. Right. Like, like totally. We're in this. We're writing this in this glum where I feel like every day is gray skies in New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's freezing. A lot of the kids say the word brick. It's brick. It outside. was brick. And I mean, it was very I, brick. It just, I I never heard that until a couple years ago. I'm like, that's a perfect way to describe twenty degrees and no snow. Yeah, it's like oh, it's just brick. like straight yeah. pavement. <laughs> Which I always felt like it was a, like an offshoot of brisk, but like I still love using it. Brick is great. Yeah, a br- um, bricks when you know it's cold. If, <laughs> if your friend tells you it's brick outside, it's cold. It's like don't even bother. Yeah, which like I, it, it's funny because that was the one line for me that set off the rest because I was trying to figure out what to write to your song, and um, I had a, a note about closing the shades and like going back to bed because like that's been my reality the past like two years now is like my room being the basement it's cold all the time and i'm like i just like want to close the shades and stay in bed because i'm freezing yeah. so it just like goes from there <laughs> wait i for i think you were there at a uh, the south lincoln house mm-hmm. where me and joe's rooms were also were in the basement yep and uh there was no natural lighting and there was one day i slept until 4 p.m it's easy because you literally just have no concept yeah. of the sun. Like if you're, if, yeah, if your window is closed at all, like blocked at all, it's like, yeah, that's it. You're Unreal. Just asleep. Yeah. Yeah. And that, uh, that's scary, but I definitely, oh, your, your whole verse. Thank you. I vibe with, and it was a kind of nice touch on like what I was doing. And then we go into this like good Charlotte rap part, which very is very super American. I felt like, like super American too. Cause we were both like, high off the experience of seeing them and loving that record. Mm-hmm. And that kind of came into play that way too. Do you get it? You liked it when I said it. Couldn't tell my tone of voice, so forget it. I don't believe that anything they say about me is interesting. So we begin with that guitar riff that just, that chord progression that yeah. like just goes. Yeah. 
and then um, there's not really a lot of bass until no, the yeah. subs and the chorus come in. And I think also there's no bridge to the song. Not really, no. It's just verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Double chorus. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. I think that's like a um, a structure that works well. Like sometimes you don't just... it doesn't A song doesn't call for a bridge. Double chorus Especially out. Especially this. Yeah. I mean, with it being so wordy and us kind of saying what we need to say in the song. Also kind of fitting in with the... You and I have both been writing shorter songs lately. Yes. This short attention span... And it a lot of the time is like, well, are we just writing something that's gonna pop off on Instagram or right. pop off on TikTok type deal, but also <laughs> how we're feeling type deal. Like it, we're not trying to the song has to be this huge, grandiose masterpiece. It's gonna be one of our it's gonna be a piece of our puzzle. Yeah, which absolutely. We're like mapping out I think everybody's mapping out right now if you're not doing like a cohesive record. You're kind of just moving in that yeah, direction of like, these are like little pieces to my thing. Absolutely. And I think I've found myself in a place and I'm sure you would agree where it's like, what, there's no reason to force out anything extra than what you've written or would like, would like to write. Right. So if, if, I, if nothing's really coming to mind, then maybe that's just the song. So if it's a minute 50 and why write an extra bridge, an extra pre-chorus, an extra verse, if if really you're forcing it. Yeah. That's just the song. That's it. And then live, you can do a 10 minute version like Zeppelin. Exactly. I don't know how you it. will, but you can. Yeah. And it's, you just, you just hum and moan and then eventually it's a 10 minute version. <laughs> hum and moan. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke perp. Yeah. yeah. Genius. But so it kind of had like the bass and it's got that drum loop going mm. on. And then kind of the vocal. Yeah. The lyrics and the vocals carry it. And then the like steel drum thing in the choruses yes that was so cool i don't oh my god i was like when i first mapped it out i just had that like i was looking for something weird yeah because there's so many sounds in this thing and i don't know what i'm doing so i was like what about like a steel drum yeah type thing it's it works really well too and i think in earlier mixes i didn't realize it was a steel drum i i for some reason in my memory it was a um like a Glock toy box, a oh, oh, like a, yeah, yeah, like a, yeah, like a song box. Yeah, like a song box a or box, a, yeah. a music box or like a Glockenspiel or something. And then this most recent one, I'm like, oh, that's a steel drum, <laughs> and it's so cool. Yeah, like re- really works very well. <laughs> I, it, it's cool. I don't know. It's like trying to find new things. It's Definitely. like I haven't done this in a song before, and it's like I also like the idea of this is where my head's at of what kind of music I could accomplish on my own, but that I also like would listen to right type deal. I was thinking a lot at work about smash mouth today. And I was thinking about how so many love, how so many bands you and I particularly love Mm -hmm. model, at least like their vocal harmony or their chord progressions off of like smash mouth songs. Absolutely. I don't, I think it's something nobody would listen to. Yes. Nobody would want to admit it, but like, the deep cuts, like if we're even not even looking like all star, either whatever the meme is, like some of the deep cuts on their records from like the late nineties, you're like, oh, these are just like perfect pop songs, and like bands yeah. who are at our age or like a little bit older who would have heard them, it's like that's the model, that's that that's the goal. Well, I was also just thinking all star, like flat even all star. I like mean, all star every also element works. of yeah. that in terms of like how you coordinate things. Definitely. It's and the perfectly arranged song. <laughs> well, you even have a, one of your newer songs has that kind of backbeat that all star has mm, definitely. And the yeah. like scratches and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know. I was, I knew with a lot of the smash mouth stuff, they were reminiscing of like the sixties sound. Of course. They're trying to get that like Austin powers. It's like, like a psychedelia party, psychedelia, like upbeat, like thing of swing of the sixties into the nineties. And us right now i mean we're culminating on a lot of on a lot of other things but i feel like culturally we're kind of more of an 80s right now moving into yeah. like synthesizers the, and the drum 90s like next thing of because mm-hmm. like, a lot of things now are popping off because they're all like stripping back again of course it's just it's cyclical it's entirely cyclical and what's good for me and you is that we like most of this stuff and a lot of it. So I know you've, right. you've heard some stuff I've been working on. That's just guitar based drums, yeah. but also we love working on stuff that's got like synths in it. Oh and yeah. Like 
like fake drums and like less guitar work or synth bass and i think that flexibility is important where it's like we yeah. can we and like you it, it really just like completely holds to your point of from earlier like it doesn't have to be oh i'm the guy that does this we could do any of it we can incorporate yeah. all of it or none of it i want to do as much as i can with music i don't see it as like, like when, when i was in high school I wanted to write songs that would have guitar solos, yeah, of course. In them, which I Wait, don't as any think schooler would, that I think. hard to take when you're like 15 and no. playing guitar, learning from all your guitar heroes. I'm like, oh, they did a solo here. I should do a solo. Yeah, it's there. like, oh yeah, I think I really define myself by doing just another pentatonic like solo in here. But you have that, and then kind of progresses into like, for me, I wanted to write hooks mm-hmm. no matter exactly. what I did, yep. like have a hook in it, which I still want to do. And then it's like create a vibe. Yeah. Something that you could either like sit to or dance to or have on in a collection of other things. Well, you could literally do any of that yeah. and all of that at the same time. And there, there's nothing stopping you. And there's no genre that's too much or too little right now. Definitely it's, not. It, and there's so much crossover with all this stuff. I think that's the beauty of, especially right now. I mean, it, like some people might say, Oh, there's no mu- good music coming out. It's like, that's the furthest thing so from the truth. Wrong. Like everything now could be a melting pot. You could take influences from every decade, every genre and create something beautiful. And you can make it sound crystal clear, or you could make it sound super like just shitty sounding yeah. in the best way. Exactly. And like super raw. And it sounds amazing. I, I want to say definitely, for me, from 2019 on, music's gotten progressively better. I might be like kind of ignorant to stuff in like 2018 or 2017 that sure, I was super I mean, into, but definitely for me, 2019, like of newer stuff coming out and like yeah. real like game changers. Yeah, there definitely had I definitely had a lot of like really important records to me come out in the past couple of years. So I'm with you on that. And there's stuff still coming out. I mean, Big oh, Thief. It, so is Dude. it out? Out? I keep. I keep it's out, out. Okay, it's yeah, out. Out. The full re- full double record, uh, Dragon Mountain, uh, Dragon Warm Mountain. I believe in you, is out. It's phenomenal. unreal. It's, un- it's just the fact that a band did that, even though they're, I mean, obviously they've been on the top of their game and like pushing boundaries, writing and recording everything. Yeah. But, but the, I, I think them, that record actually specifically, if you listen to the whole thing is the perfect, perfect example of what we're talking about right now, because they're like, they're not just like, Oh, let's write a big thief song. They're like, let's just write a song. And it's like, it's folky. It's country. There's like an indie pop, sort of song there's one that almost sounds like bon Iver. there's like all these different sounds yeah. and they're like no this is our record it sounds whatever the songs are whatever we want them to be and it's amazing insane yeah you get away with that you right now with, if you're yeah. doing some of that or like the, the last 1975 record was like 20 something tracks yeah and it kills yeah and it's just it you know held to no genre and they you know they play those songs live and they kill and like they did so much cool art with everything too, which is also yeah. like if you have the ability to make art with your music, you totally should. Absolutely. Which you and I were talking about right before signing on to this. Um, the doing it like actually like setting to do it helps. I, I wanted to make images to those four songs on the EP so bad. I was like the only, my like tunnel vision of what was going on with that. Yeah. And that's one of my only kind of regrets with the full length is that I didn't kind of take the time to do, I don't know. I was just like thinking too heavy of practicalities, but I I think what I want to move on in the future is kind of taking those old songs Mm -hmm. and doing something to breathe some more life into them. And especially visually kind of like bring some visuals to it. I think everybody, because it's so hard, you're like, you may may only have one song. You may only have five songs, and you want to write more. But you should also like you created a little world yeah. with that song, and you should do you know the most with it. You should do something cool on your own because I think investing in yourself is what's going to get others to invest in you. Exactly in you, in just art in general. Yeah, of because course, if you want people to believe in what you believe in. You know, you got to make them see it that way and hear it that way. And I think that's the goal with a lot of artists creating things is, you know, they're putting their view out there yeah. of what this thing is. Yeah. And if you, I think if you show people that you had a vested interest in the art that you made, 
they're more like not they won't guarantee that they care but they're more apt to care because like this is something that someone made that they really do care a lot about this is their perspective on something they care a lot about let me like listen to it let me let me appreciate it um and especially if it's like to your point um the full package of the image the video whatever it is like if you're investing your life into the 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 work then people take notice with any art while we're on video doing this very special episode yeah i do want to thank everybody for listening yeah this has been crazy crazy. yeah we we did this just for fun and i don't know just to kind of talk about our songs because we've been doing it for ever you just come over drink a little bit (laughs) like (laughs) shoot the shit and then just talk about new stuff we're going through or you and I have always been into the process so much. I, I love it. Like the process is my favorite. I, I mean, maybe not the, my favorite part of it, but like it's a huge part of it for me because, you know, but they say it's like not always about the destination, it's about the journey, like for songwriting. Yeah, especially with creating. Exactly. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Ask anybody who's had like a chart topping record. They'd be like, yeah, I just want to be back in the studio, like making it again. Like <laughs> yeah. that's cooler than the, oh yeah. It's the best part. It's like the collaboration with your friends, with your the collaboration with yourself in a way. Like there's like two selves almost writing the song, and then like recording it and just like preparing to put it out. All the whole process is so cool. There's always a story, almost always a story behind every every facet of it. Yeah, that's why I think even just you and I, we definitely know what these songs are about mm-hmm. and the kind of things that went into them, and we've seen them bloom. But you and I just picking each other, like I learned so much that yeah. I would have never known. And I'm sure the same for same you, definitely. just like ways to look at it. And uh, I definitely think that's a cool thing that kind of like, I'm very stoked that everybody's been listening and kind of like throwing their like, n- not notes, but just be like, oh, I love when you talked about this or yeah. whatever. Like, I'm just like, oh, wow, people are really listening. Yeah, like, like I got, I'll like, get like text messages like, oh, like I checked this out. Like I like this a lot. Like the way your voice sounds or like the thing you said here, like it's it's really cool. It's nice because I, you know, especially we're doing this where it's not like a performative thing. Mm-hmm. We're just like talking and that's like, all right, I'm going to clip out the right. weird sounds and then we'll just, we'll put them <laughs> out. And uh, no, it's a, uh, it's been cool that we get to do this and uh now we just gotta write more songs that's it so we can keep doing it (laughs) so we can keep doing it well i remember like for this at least like the first season i was like oh like oh that's all my songs so like now it's all on you (laughs) like that's now we have to keep just doing more of yours (laughs) no not even that i think i think the move is to like get people on definitely and um yeah just kind of expand it best we can and uh you know, worst case, we stop doing this and this will be archived and uh, you could always listen. It'll just be a part of the internet. Right. We contributed. Exactly. Something. That was the point, I think. It's just like to be, to contribute a sort of a chronicle of what we had done. Whether somebody heard it or nobody heard it, there's a, a physical record now that exists of us talking about our experiences and process and our songs. Something you said before. Oh, you said something before about you're in the basement. Mm-hmm. and like the window or whatever is uh, i'm just thinking like how cool is that that we have that recorded it, you know in case it, anything happens of course where, like this song explodes it's like whoa that was like it's a time the- stamp on nick's life and yeah college kids at a party are just like reminiscing yeah. about like oh i love that track exactly so much. just the way we have like talked about like so many of our you know that track Crazy. really got me into stealing from convenience stores. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that track really got me into arson. What? No. That, that's the hope. <laughs> that's the... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it... <laughs> We're just inspiring such bad shit. Going. I love it. that's that's the goal. <laughs> Some degenerate behavior. Oh I'm, my all, God. I'm into it. Um, for, for the basement part, I didn't know I could steal until I listened to their podcast. Like, that wasn't the point at all. Um, and I, it's funny, um, going into the next season uh, or whatever, or with guests or not, like talking about maybe the next batch of songs we do that part specifically about like me being in the basement, because I think so many of my experiences and those songs were shaped by the experience of like living 
down there sometimes being cold, especially in the winter. And um, it's just really cool, like how important sometimes the insignificant details are. So, uh, well, it sounds like that too. Like I do get that vibe now knowing that from the tracks Mm -hmm. and I mean, that's really sick. And especially just the, like you're countering what you're playing with your like vocals and everything. Cause I know, I think I listened to an interview with Phoebe one time where she was just like, well, I live in a one bedroom apartment that's, you know, pancaked with another couple apartments yeah. next to it. So she's like, I don't full voice at all. Right. It's like, wow, that makes so much sense. Everything I write is like really soft singing yeah. or like falsetto. I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So right towards that. Exactly. Which like, I, I've gotten so lucky most of my life being able to like belt or like make noise yeah. or whatever. But now I can't really, or I'm like conscious of what's going on around me. So I am like, I'm singing it, one of the heavier like demos mm-hmm. I originally attracted. I was just like kind of whispering, singing, but then I found a day where no one was home. So I was just like belt. blowing out yeah. the vocals and I'm like, all right, cool. I got the takes, <laughs> which is great too. Cause it's just like going to the studio where it's like, I need to kill these because this is, you know, I spent well, all my this chance. money and yeah. this is my day and everything. But it's like, even at my own place, it's like, you have to find the opportunity to do like, it. All right. Today's the day I could like slam these higher. It's vocals. like it's vocal day in a way. Oh my like, God. Yeah. yeah. Cause I, I have a couple demos where they sound so dumb cause the vocals are like oh, nah, nah, when they need to be, like, blah, nah, nah. like sure yeah and i need it to be yelled out or some kind i need to play with like the like expressiveness of it but when i show people the vocals and it's like all this like kind of like fake drums and stuff and then me like whispering over it they're like what's going on here i'm like no it's not a say anything song it's, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be loud just picture it being loud yeah yeah <laughs> Look, it's a rough mix, and the vocals are a placeholder, and <laughs> it's a band. It's literally a band memes me. <laughs> Every time I show anybody what I'm working on, it's like, all right, I promise this isn't a meme, yeah. but they're fake drums, and <laughs> but but then sometimes it works to your favor. Like I don't know if it was inten- intentionally done this way, but like for TV, like I feel like that was like the vibe. Where it's like let me do this like down. Mm-hmm. And I maybe that was the vibe. Dumbed maybe down. it was maybe it was a um, function of opportunity. Yeah, no, it it uh, it definitely was of just like what I could create right. that sounds cool. And like this is not a song that I like picture it being like played live or anything. I mean that would be cool, it but that be. that was not my like intent. Whereas right. like most idol wave stuff is like I'm writing it. What's a crowd gonna like? What what could we all like be in on? Sure. Like, what could we? But this one is just like eh, I'm to, like be fun. But I don't know. Kind of kind of playing with it. I think this is like a step in the direction of uh, just playing with what kind of music I could create. I've been so obsessed with Radiohead lately, and oh, yeah. I want to do like. I don't write like that. Where oh it's my like god! I can, but no I feel one does. Like that's also maybe I. That's the thing. Maybe I could play with like just having sounds go off mm-hmm. on the keyboard and vocalizing over it right. and coming up with stuff through that. Maybe that's the move. Maybe I could figure some stuff out like that. There's trial and error. I mean, there's a million and a half ways to do. There's no one way to it. write a song. Yeah. Yeah. Which I think is cool that we'll dive in on this podcast even more. Yeah. As we continue with like each episode and especially getting the perspectives like of a friends and you know, uh, peers because like their processes might be different. Uh, and I think they're all equally interesting. Yeah. Without further ado, here's TV. Nailed it. Here's a joke. I try to make you laugh while you're sad. Self-defense, but I'm doing the best that I can My free time, it's all booked up Looks like I don't give a fuck Try again the next time that you can From the floor, there's not that much more to see My back hurts, I'm laying flat for relief We talk about your pets And how they're so arrogant You still love them on Conditionally, I lay down somehow. I close my eyes, but you still. 
I'm glad I hate you. 